Hey guys, here to talk today a little bit about how to read model numbers, whether it be on a travel trailer, fifth wheel, or what have you. The fact of the matter is there's a lot of information to be gained by the model number. This particular one is a 266 RLDS. So we can infer from that that we're roughly 26 feet long. We have a rear living double slide. Okay, here's another example of, of this. This is a 267 RBSS. So in this case, we can kind of infer that this is a 26 foot rear bath with either a super slide or a single slide on it. So I've had manufacturers confirm and deny that the model numbers mean absolutely nothing, okay? That they don't actually give you a, a clue on length most will at least say that the um, acronym found after the number, that is those alphabetical digits, will, will have some sort of characteristic of the coach. But most of them will tell you that as far as the size of the box goes, this one right here is a 243 RBS. That's going to be a 24 foot rear bath with a slide, okay? That is either going to be from the rear corner to where the roof line is ends, okay, and drop straight down, or it's going to be from the rear corner to the front, the absolute front of the coach. Now, of course, to achieve your overall length, you're going to add a foot on the rear, approximately, for the bumper, and you're going to add about three feet on the front for the tongue. This one right here is another example of a strange model number. 279 RLSS. That basically means it's a 27 footer rear living with a super slide or a single slide. So, obviously, in here you see the rear living quarters. Okay. Hence the acronym there, RLSS. Okay. The model numbers generally tend to hold true for fifth wheels as well. Okay. So in this situation, this is a 365 SAQB. Incidentally, this is the model we own, okay? It's approximately a 36 foot side aisle quad bunk. Now here's where this gets interesting. This actual coach right here is just shy of 42 feet long. So where do they get 36 feet from? Well, again, some manufacturers will say there's no significance whatsoever with the model number as to the length. However, some would also speculate that that length is from where the upper deck ends and transitions down to the basement and to the jacks back to the rear bumper. That on this coach is just about 36 feet. So your additional length is found in the upper deck to the end of the nose cone, which is still living space, giving you that extra 40, 40 their total 42 feet in length. A couple more examples here of the differences in model numbers. Again, looking at a fifth wheel. This is a 379 FLOK. This particular one means it's approximately a 37 foot front living outdoor kitchen. Again, where you really have to be careful is the leg legitimacy of those numbers as to the length of the unit. Most of that will not include overall or total length. Okay, so since we're talking about uh, model numbers here. I'm going to give you another one. This one is a 299 RLOK. It's kind of an odd one. But if we inspect the unit a little bit, we'll find that it's approximately a 30 foot rear living, which we can see here by the windows. Because okay, We know that it's generally true that to get those windows in the rear of the coach, you need to be in a uh, 
in a rear living model, okay? But this one also has an outdoor kitchen, okay? And every manufacturer does this differently, but for this particular model number, we can infer that this is a rear living outdoor kitchen. Now there's always gonna be exceptions to the rules, right? So this particular model here is a 3850. That says nothing about the actual coach itself, um, the floor plan layout or anything like that. Here's another one, just the same, 3875. Thanks so much for watching. I do hope that was a helpful bit of insight into model numbers. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule, um, but hopefully that'll be a little bit of help as you um, see them going down the road or see them in different displays uh, for sale online. You can at least gain a little insight into the floor plan uh, that you're looking at. If you have any questions, uh, leave us a comment, shoot me a message. I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks so much.